Chris Shell here from the Toronto Maple Leafs, the hockey school director for the Toronto Maple Leafs Hockey School in the summer. I come to you from my living room space where we're going to work on some ways of being active and focusing on hockey skills. You're going to need very little equipment, some household items, and I do recommend that you maybe track down a person in your family to help you with this one. It's going to be great. Get ready for this. Your camp at home experience is seconds away. You ready for this? All right, here we go, the handball exercise, Morgan Riley's favorite drill for sure because it's working on that fine detailed motion of sweeping the puck away, putting it into the hands of the forward, which you hope that will go down and score a goal at Scotiabank Arena. So we're going to collect some ball-like items that vary in weight. Once you have that in a clean, clear space with a smooth surface to move the ball along, I want you to be able to control the ball, control it first, and then pass it away and receive it. Control the ball, pass it away and receive it. Now think of your hands as a hockey stick. Now for sure look up once in a while to have that hand-eye coordination, but what I want you to do is imagine that your hands are a hockey stick. And so you can move it back and forth just to get an understanding of the motion and the receiving of a ball. And so you can be creative in this and where I can toe drag the lacrosse ball, play with it, toe drag, play with it, toe drag, play with it. And now, how long can you do this for? How creative could you be and how fast can you move that ball around the surface of your floor? Maybe try to do this for 30 seconds, rest for 10, and then bring in some creativity as you focus on the fine details of passing and receiving. Have some fun with this. Challenge some family members. Here comes your passing grade drill. You're going to need a little bit of space. You're going to need a partner, a hockey stick, and a ball. And I'm going to use a hard ball, for example. Chris, pass me the ball. <laughs> The passing grade drill is an opportunity for you to focus on the finer details of passing and receiving. So you want to be in your athletic ready position. You want to softly with smooth motions move the ball across the floor. You're going to start from heel to toe. Pass heel to toe and then push back heel to toe. Push back heel to toe. And I also want you to make sure that you apply just a little bit more pressure than you normally do on your bottom hand. So heel to toe, push and push, push and push. And so now you get a feel for what it's like to pass as you sweep the ball across the floor. So that is your passing grade. Congratulations. Nice work. This next drill is called multi-surface passing. So what I need you to do is make sure you have a little bit of space. Challenge yourself with objects. So I'm going to be using items like a skateboard, a chair, a wall, and a pot from my kitchen. What are you going to use? Fantastic! You did a great job! You got some pretty cool items, kind of like what I have in my living room. So what I want you to do now is some key teaching points for you is be in your athletic ready position. Get nice and low and make triangles out of your body. I also want you to make sure that your hips are on a swivel as your feet stay stationary. And when you pass the ball, keep your stick on the floor so that when it comes back to you on that bounce, you in your ready position. So here I am, I'm gonna pass off the leg of a chair, off a skateboard, and then a saucer pass, be creative. And then you know that most passes aren't tape to tape in our world, in minor hockey. So what I want you to do is bounce the ball, pass the ball off of an item that will give you a bad pass back so that you can recover and start using those hips on a swivel. Well done. How long can you make creativity passes out of this exercise. Have some fun with it and challenge yourself. Well, we did it. Bring families together through our camp at home experience. Well done, everybody. Parents, thank you for allowing us into your home. And you, the athletes, well done. And keep on challenging yourself by timed exercises, high repetition exercises, so that you get a little better every day in every way. Now, if you're looking for ways to get into cross-board training, know that our friends from TFC, Argos, and the Toronto Raptors are doing the exact same thing. You can check them out on our MLSE YouTube channel called MLSE Sport Development. Have some fun with today. Remember your physical distance is one stick length away should you be able to go outside and get some fresh air. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch up with you soon.